So congrats guys, I'm going to start with you Jesse, uh, what's it like to finally have a captain's role after a lot of years of being an assistant and sort of in that leadership group? Um, I think for me it's just, just a huge honour. Um, you know, there's a lot of big names and club legends that have gone before us. So to be able to finally have this uh, opportunity alongside Dale, it's pretty special and uh, I'm really looking forward to it, so it should be good. Yeah, the same as Jess. Um, you know, obviously it's a massive honour. I think I spoke to Craig about a month ago when he, um, you know, decided that he wanted to go with the co-captain system. You know, Cameron's been our captain for such a long period of time, um, and he's done such a good job for us. And I think Craig mentioned about the fact that it's going to be, you know, very much a collective role for us. Obviously myself and Jess, but you know, the leadership group as well. The fact that you know Cameron was one of our spine players, you know he sort of delegated a lot of the field and had a lot to do with that sort of the the game sense stuff. Whereas you know, that's probably not as much mine and Jess's strengths. Whereas you know we've got you know Jerome and we've got Cameron Munster in those sort of roles within our leadership group where they're able to delegate and, and do those sorts of things. So um, as I said, it's going to be very much a collective uh, from our leadership group this year. Um, well, I guess uh, the, the position I was in, I was next to Smithy the whole time. Um, had the best seat in the house in terms of leadership and, and how to do those things. So um, I'll be, hopefully I catch up with Smithy and talk about, well, both of us catch up with Smithy and talk about, you know, ways we can do that. Um, yeah, so. It's going to be it's going to be rocky at some stage, but what this club does well and what we want to do well is work hard at it and be the best we can be for for the team. I imagine that your style is quite different to Cameron's on the field. I suppose when you relationship with the referees, is that the case? Uh, it's something that obviously we haven't had to deal with, um, you know, a whole lot. Obviously, just in parts of his career when when Cameron has been injured, which was you know rare, um, but. You know, it's obviously something that's going to be new to us. So, as I say, Cameron's been here for such a long period of time that, you know, we haven't had to worry about those sorts of things. But that will be a conversation that Jess and I will have with Cameron about, you know, when to approach referees and, you know, even off-field sorts of things where, um, you know, because it's a new role for us, I think we can learn a lot from him. Just quickly, I think you're kind of groomed when obviously being vice-captain, but you took over a few of the off-field duties last year. Yes, a lot of the off-field stuff, you know, Craig named Jesse and I co-captain so that we could take, you know, a little bit of that, I won't say burden, but those other commitments um, away from Cameron because he had so much, you know, in, with football going on, being, you know, the face of the game, really. Um, so, you know, Jess and I were able to do a lot of those off-field sort of media commitments last year where, you know, the, I guess the difference for us this year is the fact that we do have those on-field commitments and, um, you know, more, more off-field commitments as well. Is, is it daunting following after Cam, or is it a different emotion? You know, exciting or you like yeah, it's it's definitely exciting, and it's you know something that both Jess and I embrace, and we're really proud to, to do for this club. You know, particularly because this club has such a rich heritage. Um, you know, obviously it's only you know over 20 years old, but it's had such success over a short period of time. Um, but as I said, it's something that we're we're really embracing and we're excited about. Yeah. What was it? How did you find out? And what was it like when Craig said, "I'd like you to have a hand on the skipper role"? Um, I think I was. It was a day before I was actually coming down to training. We had a training camp down in Geelong. Um, I was actually sitting with a, a ex teammate, Tim Glasby, uh, for lunch because he's he's in a new role working for our club at the moment and. Uh, it was just over lunch, I think, that Craig called and um, and spoke about the fact that we was going to go with the dual captaincies this year and um, and how that was going to work and what it was going to involve. And um, yeah, and then we obviously came down and joined them the, the following day. Yeah, for me it was um, I think it was just before training. Uh, he just called me into his office and and let me know. And yeah, I was just very excited because I know I look, you know, Dale works really hard and. Um, you know, I see him as a really great leader, so to be named alongside him in this role, just very excited. How's the pre-season been for, I suppose, like a whole team perspective, and then, you know, round one's not far 
our way. And Craig talked about he didn't have a trial this weekend against the Warriors. And, you know, everyone's tracking really well. Yeah, it's a, obviously a different sort of pre-season to what we've been used to, given that you know the competition ended at a later period for us and you know, every player started after Christmas. So while it was a shorter period for everyone to train, it was, um, it was really good. I think you know a lot of the young boys who came in, everyone actually was really eager to train because um, you know, we did have limited opportunities to get it right. So the onus on boys to come back in good condition and, you know, was, was a lot higher for them this year, given that we had a shorter preparation for round one. But obviously disappointing that we couldn't play uh, one of the trial games this weekend. But, um, but looking forward to the, the next trial game coming up uh, in Auburn on the weekend.